Hello and welcome back to another episode of Scott Grows an Avocado Tree. Today's episode is a little different to our usual videos in that we are conducting an experiment. That's right, and this isn't even going to be a series of videos. You see, I've already conducted the experiment and I'm ready to communicate my findings. The first little bit of this video will be me drawing stuff because it's easier. We will, of course, be following the scientific method. The six steps for conducting an experiment are asking questions, doing research, formulating a hypothesis, testing a hypothesis by conducting an experiment, analyzing data and drawing a conclusion, and then finally sharing our results. Let's get straight into it. There are people in this world who think that putting an avocado seed in water to watch it germinate and grow is not the best way to start an avocado tree. Some people have even told me on my channel to just put it in the ground. Now, any good reflective practitioner in any field should listen to what others are saying and put it to the test. So that is what I'd like to do. I'd like to ask the question, will avocado seeds germinate and grow faster in soil than with the water and toothpick method? Then I did my research, which did not draw me any closer to the truth. I couldn't find any side-by-side -side analyses of the two methods, but I do know that both of them work. Now, I need to formulate a hypothesis, which is a prediction. Since people have been saying that starting seeds in soil is better, I'll predict that it is the better one. Therefore, my hypothesis is that avocado seeds started in soil will grow faster than avocado seeds grown with the water and toothpick method. The hypothesis is ready to go. So it's time to conduct our experiment. I started the experiment on the 24th of December 2018. I had a handful of old ice cream containers and yogurt containers which will be my avocado pots. I prepared them by using a screwdriver to put holes in the bottom for drainage. Now be careful if you're going to do this at home because screwdrivers can be sharp. Then I mixed my soil. I'm using a mixture of one part sand, one part dynamic lifter to 25 parts potting mix. And this is like the cheap stuff. Then I gather some avocado seeds and started putting soil in the containers. Then with my big dibber, I put the seeds in the soil, only just below the surface, and I cover them up. Then with the remaining seeds, I put toothpicks in them and put them in glass jars, just as we have done here on Scott Rose and Avocado Tree. I then labelled all of the containers with the date so I would remember when they were started. They were then moved to some garden shelving where they would remain for the duration of the experiment. The jars were then filled with water and the containers were watered. We just need to wait a while now before we can test our hypothesis. On the 14th of March, 80 days after the beginning of the experiment, the avocados in the jars are doing almost nothing. Some are beginning to crack, but there are no signs of roots. However, we have a very different story with our soil avocados. Then the growth increased. On the 1st of April 2019, which is 98 days after the experiment begun, I had to move some of the soil avocados out of the shelving because they were starting to grow through the trays because of their height. Still no sign of any roots from the water avocados. On the 9th of April 2019, I am pretty well happy to conclude the experiment. Three of the soil avocados are really starting to grow now. They're getting leaves and they're getting some girths to their trunks. One of the water avocados has got some roots and another looks like the roots won't be far off, but I think we have the results to our experiment. Let's analyze the data gained here, which is the speed at which the avocados germinated and grew into saplings. We had three of the soil avocados grow at least 20 centimetres tall. I had one of the water avocados grow roots. These clearly show that the soil avocados grew better. However, I now realise that I should have had equal groups, less in the soil group or more in the water group. But we are still seeing a clear trend that we can draw a conclusion from. And now I'm sharing my results. I found that at least in this experiment, that avocado seeds started in soil will do better than avocado seeds started in water, at least in terms of the speed of germination. I will be interested to watch these over time to see if there are any other advantages or disadvantages. 
And that is all we have for today's episode. Uh, A little bit different today, and I have certainly learned something. And who knows, there may be more episodes like this in the future. Thanks very much for watching. If you liked it, please be sure to give it a like and comment if you have any feedback for me. If you haven't already done so, please do subscribe so as to not miss any future installments of Scott Grows an Avocado Tree. Thank you once again for watching, and I will see you next time. Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree.